Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, April 2, 2022. You may find that spiritual concerns and fanciful daydreams are moving into sharp focus today. Perhaps you are being pulled by playful emotions and methods of escapism. Make sure at least one foot stays on the ground while you send your head up in the clouds, but definitely take the time to check the air up there and report back your findings to your conscious self. You may be feeling a much greater sensitivity towards others now and your psychic intuition is stronger than usual. Congratulations! You are likely feeling great both mentally and physically, and your business and financial interests could take a sudden turn for the better. A contract could be involved in some way. Love matters should also be going very well, and children could bring great pleasure to you. This is a great time to make plans for the future, and to put the pursuit of your ambitions into action. Today you could strike up an interesting friendship with someone. Maybe you will be speaking to someone in your work setting. This could be a professional acquaintance who seems very different from you. As you chat, you could find that you share a lot of common ground. Perhaps you studied at the same college or worked at the same company. Make some time to get to know this person. The day ahead is an excellent opportunity to take a little rest from the huge endeavor you started several weeks ago. But don't feel guilty, you won't be wasting your time. A change of scene will be refreshing, and you'll return to the job with renewed energy. Your friends or family may invite you on a pleasant outing today. Go along and enjoy yourself. You are reacting irritably towards people in your private sphere. This makes you take out your bad mood on others. Friends and relatives obviously feel rebuffed. Restrain yourself and be fair and objective, even if you find it difficult in your current state of mind. New information is coming your way, so hop to it and make sure you can make the most of it. It's a good time for you to really jump into the research wherever makes the most sense to you. You engage in conversation with almost everyone you meet. Being so talkative and offering little substance is far too easy, you lose track of conversations and question what you are doing. You still have the ability to create situations that can make your dreams a reality, rather than just aimlessly wasting your time. Your general mood is at a monthly peak today, although you may find that this mood is slightly off due to a great deal of indecision on your part. Don't let this get you down. If you are finding it hard to make a choice about something, then the solution is simple. Put off making this choice until you feel more comfortable about making it. If you absolutely must make a decision today, the trick is to go with your gut instinct. Take the time to consider whether or not you give too much away. Part of this day's essence is about generosity and gullibility. While giving is something that is hardly ever a negative thing, it can become so if you wind up giving so much away that you feel taken advantage of. Remember to value the things that you create as well. They take your time, talent, and materials. Resentment arises when too much is given out without enough coming back. Keep this in mind today. The stars will incite you to define the ins and outs of the efforts you put in the last 12 months. Try to preserve the same attitude over the next few months. The next balanced sheet of your difficulties and successes will be greatly positive. You are probably starting to understand what incites you to act and where all of this is leading you. While the sun and moon are already separating after yesterday's new moon in your work sector, the energy here remains just as high because they are both still aligned, just not with each other. Today it is an alignment between the Sun and Mercury that is creating a lot of transparency and especially when it comes to the next steps and how to capitalize on the momentum yesterday's new moon has created. At the same time, the moon's alignment with the dwarf planet Eris is a chance to tap into her warrior and competitive spirit. On both the romantic and relationship fronts there is a sense of anticipation as you wait for something special on both fronts. On the relationship front, it is the moon's return to your relationship sector tomorrow and Mercury's just over a week later while on the romantic front you are waiting for Venus, the planet of love's return to your romantic sector and the magic this will create. Our eyes in the sky. 
After we get through the tense aspect that forms between the Aries Moon and Pluto in Capricorn this morning, today can bring great news and wonderful outcomes if we're ready, the opening square between the two can push us toward growth and change. Later, the Aries Moon forms an awesome sextile with Jupiter in Aquarius, sparking a jovial spirit and sense of abundance. There is a refreshing enthusiasm that emphasizes looking at the bigger picture when it comes to life's major questions. It seems as though you can achieve anything, and there's plenty to accomplish as you embrace the feeling of inner calm. Love takes the lead in the evening because these planets make us feel romantic. The cosmic energy clears up a lot of the drama and shadow after a very intense month. You've learned a lot about what you want and what you deserve when partnering with people. Jupiter's harmonious aspect with the moon is a testament to how much you have to offer the world, as well as how you need to put your needs above all the rest in turn. This is a time when matters of the home and family come to the forefront of your heart because you are willing and wanting to connect with those you care about on a deep level. Spend time at home tonight doing things that allow your heart and spirit to grow. This evening, cook a nice dinner and play some favorite music to set a nostalgic mood. With the fiery Aries moon energy around us early in the day we are all feeling protective today. The irony is that most of us will be feeling very independent under this lunation, because as the first sign of the zodiac Aries is by nature an I can do it myself type of energy. This fiery moon encourages us all to strike out on our own and do things our own way. You're a good leader now and excel at giving, but not taking orders. If you still live with a maternal figure or are able to have close contact with her, be sure not to get into power struggles with her on her special day. Late this afternoon the moon sextiles Jupiter, creating a social atmosphere that makes you want to be with friends and just have a good time. Work on getting closer to the people you are able to be with. You're in a generous mood and like to include as many people in the festivities as possible now. Certain interactions remind us that life isn't always fair. Perhaps we have been slighted in a way that feels unjust. Feeling unworthy or incapable can find us seeking out support, placing pressure on friends or partners to uplift us. In this way, we risk turning our back on own desires to align with others' interests, conceivably to escape persecution. Hiding from our uniqueness only serves to distance ourselves from our intuition. Be mindful that others like us for who we are, not how well we can chameleon ourselves to their agendas.